Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpents. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, Japan, you just keep on being the gift that keeps on giving. So another Japanese crypto exchange will add XRP support. Now from here, we know, we know that Ripple affiliated XRP token has won another relisting victory in Japan where the coin will be made available for trading again on Tao Tao. Now that has already happened. So we are good to go. We are on Tao Tao. Now you will see that the price has moved and I will be talking about that of course later on. And we've got some interesting interesting things to analyze there from, from, from that point of view. But I think this is something that, you know, Japan is taking quite a bit of risk. Let's not, um, let's not sugarcoat it. They have said, you know, that we will see how it performs and if it performs the way we want it to, we will continue. Otherwise, we'll take it off again. So they did mention that very, very clearly. But I think it's fantastic to see it again um, on Tatao. And I think it's just going to be the, the momentum shift that we need. Now, more and more exchanges are choosing to turn it back on. And that is really, really, really good to see. But Tatao, it is on. And that's really, really cool to, um, to, see, to see it being, being on there. And it's a big exchange. So you know, th these people aren't uh, sugarcoating it. Like, this, is a, this is a big, big exchange over there. Now, the Fed decision day, leverage limps on oil inventory, what's moving markets? So basically the Fed news is the reason why we have started to move up. Now you would have seen overnight that the prices have started to have started to to shift really really well. Now we are almost as an entire market back in the two trillion dollar industry, which is really really cool. But we are six point three one percent up across the entire board, across the entire network. I mean we got some of them right. We got like things like Terra twenty five percent up, Cosmos twenty four percent up, Phantom is up twenty percent at a dollar twenty five. So we definitely see how news impacts the market. Now, had the Fed made a different decision, then we would have seen, uh, yet again, more prices drop. So it's really, really important as a um, either a day trader or as a investor looking to come into the market, the best give, uh, takeaway that I want you to have from today's video is that when you are looking for your entry, you really, really do need to pay attention to news because you could have got yourself a, you know, potentially a 25% discount had the news gone the opposite way, then the market would have tanked further. So make sure before you purchase, before you buy anything, make sure that it, the calendar doesn't have any major news like, you know, federal news or things like that. And you can jump on things like investing.com and look at the calendar and in the calendar, you can actually um, then look for what, what is going on out there in the market, right? But this is, this is a cool tool to have because it is important to, um, to, keep, to give yourself that edge when it comes to calendars, right? So calendars are really, really important. And there's a whole bunch of things on here. Um, you can register for it as well. But, you know, the, it really, really is important, you know, to do that homework, to do that homework just before you buy. Because you know, you've got ICO calendars, you've got crypto brokers, you've got currency converters, you got the pairs, you know, you've got the news as well. So right on, on investing.com, you can you can do that as well. And then there are some news which is important, but overall I think you know the most important thing for you to um, to do is to look at the calendar of events, right? If there's a big thing happening, like that Federal Reserve was a big deal, you definitely want to be you you want to know about it before you invest because like I said, you know, you could have got yourself a 25% discount if, if, you, if the news had gone the wrong way. Now, from a, uh, what is this? No, this isn't going to let me in. SEC chair Gain against that has, was to be paid by Goldman Sachs to disclosure reveals. So that's, that, that's what this particular article was for. I'm not sure why it's not, not letting me in now. But it's really, really interesting to see what um, Gary Gensler and Goldman Sachs are going to be are going to be doing together. I'll try and see if I can find you guys another another link on it. So Bitcoin spikes as Fed leaves rates unchanged. So that is the big news of today in regards to the entire market, right? So as soon as the Federal um, Reserve news came out, it was really, really positive for the entire market. So that there is is the main reason why we are starting to move up. Now, from an SEC um, news perspective, there has been um, an update. So let me just quickly update you on what this latest, uh, well, I guess, latest chapter is in the, in this case. Now, in this latest installment, right, the SEC files a letter stating 
that it does not oppose Ripple's motion to seal certain portions of Ripple's objections and responses to the SEC's second and third sets of integrities. The SEC also intends to request permission from the court to file by September 24, 2021, its own motion to seal with respect to these exhibits pertaining to submissions to the SEC by third parties. Now, there is a lot of a mutually agreed ceilings and exhibits going on here. To me, when you start to play nice to each other, it only can smell one thing, which is settlement. So that there is probably the biggest uh, takeaway that we take from, from, from that today in regards to the SEC versus uh, Ripple. Now, the crypto market shake off the Evergrade cold and bounces back to reward dip buyers. And yes, yes, indeed, we have been rewarded. Um, I hope that you accumulated more and that you bought and bought the discounts because that's what I've called red days, right? It's just it's just a sale. So it's an awesome, awesome, awesome sale opportunity to accumulate more. That's what they are. If you treat red days as buying opportunities and sales, you'll be you do very, very well in this industry. And by the way, it's not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor, but I just like to tell you how it is. Now, the big Ripple news today is that Ripple partners with Central Bank of Bhutan to launch CBDC trial. That is the major reason why the Ripple price has spiked more than others in the last uh, um, 24 hours. And of course, it's not the most, it's not the best performing at the moment, right? But it, it did jump over a dollar and went to a dollar two as soon as this news came out. This news is an important news, right? So there is a lot, a lot going on here. More CBDCs, yet another country yet another way of testing the private ledger of the XRP ecosystem. And this type of news is really, really, really important. So big win, awesome, awesome win for, for Ripple there. Now, Coinbase is planning to be the top dog, but how will Bitcoin and old coins react? So Coinbase, of course, you know, they're planning to, you know, you know they've got their own plans, right? To really be the, the master of the industry compared to, you know, Binance and all them. But, for me, I think what's really, really important right now is to focus on the bull run and where are we going over the next four months because that that there is really, really, really critical. Now, once we get over the bull run, I'll tell you about you know all these other plans and all these exchanges and what they're up to and what they plan to do. But for us right now, the key is to focus on our bull run and what are our opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, the new Sally Omaroa who has said she wants to end banking as we know her, will be tapped by Biden admin to run the office of the control of the currency as soon as this week. This is really, 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 really positive um, news because someone like her can really shake up what's going on over there internally in the government. And I happen to know a blockchain that can definitely help her with that. It has three letters. You and I both know. You you know what it is, right? It's XRP. So it would be really cool to keep that um keep keep that uh, um up to date with what how she does and how she performs. Now, of course, this CBDC news, a private blockchain um, with Ripple, it is on the website. On the Ripple News section of the website, you can read all about it from them, from their perspective, and why they think that this is a really really cool thing. Um, but, you know, they couldn't be more thrilled to partner with the RMA on its CBDC's agenda and foster our shared values in creating a more sustainable, accessible and financially inclusive reality. Sustainable, accessible and financially inclusive reality. That there, ladies, gentlemen, this, this is what it's all about. This is what, this is what the XRP ledger has always all been about. Sustainable, accessible and financially inclusive reality. That is the goal. And I'll tell you what, they're going to get it. They are definitely, definitely going to get it. And we'll talk about price today. We'll talk about the structures and what we're up to. Um, let's uh, let's see. Let's see how um, let let's see how we how we perform and, and what we do. But look, looking zooming out all the way back to you know pre twenty sixteen, it's looking good. It's looking really, really, really good. I know that I copped up, um, you know quite a little heat on uh, um, on TikTok when I st first started to mention about triple digit XRP. But the more I zoom out, the more I get excited. Now, is it going to happen in 2022, 2023? You know, like, but I do see the day of a triple digit um, XRP token. And again, it's not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but I just like to tell you guys how it is. Now, also, let me remind you, right? Let me remind you who this gentleman, Brad Garlinghouse, sits with. He sits with the di director of monetary markets, chairman of Saudi Arabia Monetary Authority. He sits with the chief executive hong kong monetary authority right it is a star-studded list of people that ripple and 
Brad Gardinghouse have connections in the market with. This is what it's about. That's why triple digits is possible because it's it's coming for all the money. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, right? We, we're almost there. We're almost, almost there. I can feel it, you know, from a, from a price action point of view, a great bounce that we've had. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited, right? I'm super, super excited. Let's, let's, let's jump into, um, let's dive into some charts. Let's see what they can teach us. A little bit different to the usual um, charts that I'll show you and, and the usual ways that, that I go about it. And I will be doing a little bit more of this as we introduce new ways to show you guys what I'm looking at and what I'm up to and, you know, what, what I see out there in the, in the market. I've made it green because obviously, you know, the serpent. Uh, and look for, um, this is on the hourly. So on the hourly chart at the moment, what we're looking at, you know, we can see that the MACD is has moved, of course, into a, into a bullish segment. You know, right now we're just sort of almost, uh, um, almost uh, down uh, to you know go back into bearish on the on the hourly. But what we're looking for is minimum of 103 uh, to consolidate above 103, right? But realistically, what I'm really really looking for is 110 and above. So if we go 110. And consolidate above 110 then we're out of the clear right now we are not out of the clear i repeat we are not out of the clear just yet it's been great loved every second of, of the prices going up but we're not out of it just yet and i just want to make sure that you guys um, were aware of that on the hourly let's jump into a different time frame now when we look into a four hour time frame we can definitely see you know the macd is moving very very strong it, it is bullish the momentum the, the momentum has come along but really, what we're what, when you zoom out from a, from a four hour perspective, there are some key things here that we're looking for, and we we don't have them yet, right? We don't have them yet, and and that's that's really what it's about, you know. Like yes, the MACD is is bullish on the four hour, but we need to go further further out to really really get a great perspective on what what can we you know expect in the in the coming days. So let's do that. Let's go to the, the daily one. Okay, so when we do go into the daily, then then we can start to see a different picture, right? Because the MACD is nowhere near yet ready to to go back into into a bullish uh, segment. And now I've that I have drawn two li two lines for you to have a look at what are the things that are important in this particular point in time. One one ten is very very important, but really one twenty nine and consolidated above twenty nine will have us ready to go towards you know your one fifties and and one seventies, one nineties and and above. So. They are really, really critical points. It's always important to um, to not get too excited, to not jump the gun, because we're not out of the uh, we're not out just yet. I know a couple of you messaged saying, "Hey, are we out? Are we out?" We're not yet. Be careful. Be very, very careful. But we're not far either. But we do need some. Con we need a one ten support, and then we need a one twenty nine support, and then we will fly towards two dollars. When we look at you know different scenarios and different things, right? So we have bounced up, but. This could be a scenario, right? So we're gonna pay pay attention to to things like this as well. So this could definitely be something that um, that that occurs. So we have to be mindful and still wait because there could be yet again one more show ground, one one more chance that we could drop to, to the 85, 80 cents range. If we don't, then of course from here we will really start to build very very strong momentum into towards the end of 2021, 2022 and beyond. Um, $10, $30, $100, $300, you know, they are price targets, you know, that are, they they are potential potential things that I am looking um, that I'm looking into when it comes to um, when when it does come to the point of, you know, where do I start to take profits? I will be making a video on it. I just don't think it's relevant right now because I don't want to confuse you guys because we're not anywhere near that. But in the not too distant future, as we start to break all time highs, I will be making my extra strategy video and share you, with you guys where I plan to take profits. But right now, we are looking to see, have we made support and are we going to, to be moving in the right direction? I think we have. And from here, I can expect us to go a little bit like this. And then we start to go up. At $4.20, could there be an opportunity to sell and buy back in again? Look, they can be, right? But there's a couple of things you got to look into. You got to look into your uh, capital gains, where, whichever country you're in. You got to look at the risk that you take. You know, I mean, if you're happy at 420 and you've made profit and, and, you know, it's all about your family, then by all means, I personally won't be at 420, right? It, uh, I, I just, I've done too much research for myself, but that's my strategy. That does not have to be your strategy at all, at all. Is there a good opportunity to sell a 420 and reaccumulate? There could be, 
but you could also be, get yourself in trouble. So always, always be careful and please do your own research when it comes to this. But look, from here, we'll bounce around, go to 270 and then kick off towards our, uh, we are breaking the breaking the all-time high. But right now, I'm expecting this, right? I do expect that we potentially could, could potentially go down one more time before we go back up. For me, that makes a logical sense at the moment. So be mindful, we're waiting for a 110 and test above 110. If we break above 110 and continue to go up, then congratulations, we are on our way to breaking all-time highs. As always, a huge pleasure to be with, be with you. If you learned something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you, and I look forward to see you on the next one.